Fuck. Hey, bro, does this look infected to you? Uh, let me see. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's definitely infected. I probably shouldn't have peed on your cup. Fuck. I wish I would have known that shit before. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck to say to that shit. <laughs> Hey guys, your boy K, back doing another movie review for Movies in a Nutshell. We're continuing our quarantine series. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video right there. You heard him right. This was part of our quarantine saga, but we're not in quarantine anymore, so it doesn't make any sense, right? I promise this is the very last quarantine review we have. This was actually recorded back in April, and somebody, not gonna say it was me, because it was me, procrastinated and never edited the video. Well, here we are, two, three months later, and, uh, well, guys, there's your context. I've been stuck at home all fucking week. And I'm starting to go a little stir crazy and develop, dare I say, cabin fever. Pun intended, as always. All right, pay me. Where's my camera? Uh, I'm your out. money, bitch. <laughs> so this week, we will be doing the review for the 2016 remake of Cabin Fever. Before we get started, remember to smash that like button. And let's just get into it. Cabin Fever, what is it? You might have it, I fucking definitely have it. I would love to tell you what happened in the movie, but honestly, there's so much shit packed into this fucking thing that it's kinda hard to remember and pin everything down in order. There is a fucking lot, like, you, 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 you have the classic character tropes, there's the prep and his girlfriend, there's the two lovebirds who secretly, but not so secretly, wanna bang, there's a stoner gamer guy, who for some reason takes an assault rifle out into the fucking woods with his homies. There's so much more. I mean, there are characters that show up in this fucking movie that never really add anything to the story other than they're just trying to kill time here. There is a cap scene in the movie where they're sitting around and the, one of the lovebird guys is telling a story about how he worked at a bowling alley and he, he was taken hostage. This adds nothing. There's no foreshadowing here, which you think there is because they set it up as to be there's no foreshadowing, there's nothing. It's just a fucking random story for some reason they threw in there. Along with another guy who comes into the movie simply to apparently give them weed and smoke them out and then disappears for the rest of the movie besides for like maybe a two second clip at the fucking end. This movie is ridiculous. It fucking, it boggles the mind. Like I just sat there the whole time watching this thinking, is this for real? Like it's, it's B movie, but it's like, it tries to be serious. In a, in a way that B-movies aren't. Like, I don't think any of this shittiness was on purpose. It was all accidental. And the fucking actors they got, who are supposed to be teenagers, are the oldest looking teenagers I've ever fucking seen in my life. These motherfuckers are my age. Like, it's completely ridiculous. This is an affection movie. You wouldn't think that shit from the title, but the main cast, the teenagers, all get infected and they all end up fucking dead. There's, you know, spoiler alert or not, if you choose to watch this. They all fucking die. There's no point in beating around the bush. It doesn't quite say what started the infection, but you do know that it's coming from the Lake Water Reserve. They all end up drinking it or being exposed to it in some fashion. Two of them try to fuck in it. Then one of the ones that tried to fuck in it drinks it. And then, you know, they all, they all fucking die. There's no, there's no point in the rhyme or reason for that. So this movie has some weird fucking people in it. Uh, from the, the very first scene is uh, Hick going to get his dog who's dead and he fucking breaks down and screams pancakes and it's fucking hilarious it's it's my favorite part of the movie which is in the first two minutes of it but then you also have characters like the fucking there's a it's a sheriff or a deputy who's a chick who seems to want to fuck one of the teenagers even though she's just stumbled on what should be an active crime scene this dude threw up blood and guts all over their fucking car they bashed it in it looks like an active murder scene but she doesn't seem interested in that at all because it's clear as fucking day she wants to fuck one of these teenagers. Even though they're cleaning up blood and guts and shit. And they set a man on fire. You, you'll see it in the movie. Here's my favorite two sets of characters. There is a little boy in a paper mask who for no fucking reason bites strangers and his hick father who comes out and gets mad at strangers because everybody knows not to go to this boy because apparently He'll fucking bite you. And for some reason, the second time this boy bit somebody, he screamed out, PANCAKES! Right before he did it too. I don't fucking understand what the correlation is. Did he know this hick dude in the middle of the woods? 
Did he know his dog? Did he bite the dog? Is this kid the fucking carrier? None of these questions are ever answered. Keep in mind. Then there's another one. There's a fucking guy who shows up literally just to bring in weed for the movie. It seems like that's his only purpose. He's there. They're sitting, the teens, teens are sitting around a campfire. This dude brings in a fat bag of weed, but he's creepy as shit, but they let him stay because he has a fat bag of weed. And then he exits the movie and you don't see him again except for like two seconds towards the end. You see his fucking dog who apparently has rabies or scabies or some fucking shit. It's foaming at the mouth, skin's falling off, and it kills somebody. But they never killed the fucking dog for some reason. They have a real hard time with that. And they have an assault rifle and they shoot around it, but they never shoot the fucking dog that's foaming at the mouth and threatening to murder all of them. I don't understand why not. Just iterate. I love animals. I would never shoot the dog unless it was foaming at the mouth and trying to kill me. Then, you know, man versus beast, man's gonna win. Okay, all right, I, I think that's fucking it. Uh, let's just rate this bitch. Awesome, must watch. Damn fine movie. Good, dumb fun. Watch when you're bored and avoid at all costs. Before I rate this shit, let me just tell you that this movie, it's fucking strange. Like there's bizarre characters, there's pointless, roads that they fucking take a lot of it doesn't make any sense like in my opinion it was just a really strange movie to watch and at the end of it i legitimately was like what what the fuck did i just do for the last hour and a half that's why i rate this movie and also must watch if you're fucking smoking meth this is at best watch when you're bored two out of five i would say avoid at all costs but literally legitimately what the fuck else do you have to do right now Give it a watch, see how shitty it is yourself, and if you disagree, fight me. So if you actually do put yourself through this torture, let me know what you think of the movie in the comments below or the poll above. I also want to give a shout out to our sponsors, Neft Vodka. It's Neft or it's nothing as my signature catchphrase that fuck you guys didn't like. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. It's been your boy K, and Pancakes! Hope I have gives us free shit for this. You can leave that one in there.